that's a tough one to swallow, and more so for anything for, for the seniors. And, uh, you know what we put into this program and what we, you know how we how we put those guys up on the, you know, the pressure and things on them, and nothing more than not just me, but everybody in that locker room wanted to do is to send those guys out the right way. And we didn't get it done today. And, uh, you know, it's not from a lack of effort. It wasn't from a lack of preparation. Um, you know, it's we knew it was going to be a battle. We knew. It was, you know, it was going to come down to the fourth quarter, and, and you know, what we had to do is we had to, we had to make plays in the fourth quarter. And we fought and fought and fought back and forth, and we got ourselves to a situation where we could win the football game in the fourth quarter, and we didn't get it done. And, um, you know, I, I, everybody's hurt, um, but nobody more than those seniors. And, um, you know, they've meant more than anything to, to me and to this program. Um, you know, and so it's very difficult, very difficult. And with all the things that pile on it, you know, whether it's their last game in the stadium or not, you know, with all the other things that are, that are presented to you in a championship opportunity, um, it just hurts that much more. Uh, you know, what else you can say about those guys and what they've done? Um, but they're special. And, uh, this doesn't define them. This doesn't, you know, make their what, what they've done not an incredible success. Um, but it stinks because they care so much. Because we care so much. Questions for Coach? You got that stuff. You know what? It, it's just six minutes ago in the game. It's unfortunately a little bit reminiscent of you know, UCF and our ability to not give up a big play cost us. And uh, you know, it's it's we've done a pretty good job all, all game. And, you know, I know they moved the ball some, and, and we didn't get ourselves into you know quite as sound against the run as we'd like to. But uh, you know, the thing that we probably <clears throat> Biggest difference from last year this year is just defensively is ability to give up a big play. When it's coming down to the stretch, there they're going to they're take some shots, and you got to make some plays, and, and you got to give them credit. They, uh, you know, they were aggressive, you know, like we were trying to be, and uh, they took some shots and they made the plays. And you know, we still had an opportunity. We still had, you know, had to go back out there and make another stop, and still had a chance to you know, get the ball back. But uh, you know, you can't put yourself in those kind of situations. Luke, you had so many or so many. Uh, moments where you executed on fourth down, so many big moments. Uh, was there a sense when you were executing all those big moments and coming through that you know you're going to find a way in the end? Because That's what this team has done. They they found ways. They've stopped two point conversions. They've made fourth down stops. They've you know they've rallied, and um, you know that's what we were trying to do. We knew we had to be aggressive. We knew we had to take some chances. Um, whether it was going for on fourth down, whether it was you know just any, anything, we knew there was going to have to be an aggressive. Mindset because this is a really, really good football team that uh, you know is very similar to who we are. They, they, you know, they can they can grind it out and, and uh, hold every day. Don't give up the big play. And I thought they did a better job of that than we did today. How did you feel Evan played? I thought Evan did a great job. You know, I don't I don't look at the stats just yet and, and things like that. I know he's heartbroken. He's crushed. <clears throat> you know, he, we talked about all week taking care of not just him but taking care of each other. And, Taking care of him in particular is not putting him in a situation at the end of the game with a minute 30, a minute 40 to go, and no timeouts. Um, that's not taking care of him. Um, but other than that, I thought that uh, you know he played with a lot of poise, he played with a lot of confidence. That um, you just never really knew going in there in that situation. You figured he would, but sometimes it, uh, you know some of those emotions can get to you. And I thought he did an unbelievable job at controlling and handling all those things. With the change of quarterback on top of the short week, how much did those challenges? Well, no, I, I don't. I mean, it, it's just a it's just a challenge for preparing, you know. And in some ways, it's probably a challenge for them to prepare, not knowing exactly what you're going to get. Um, but you had seen where our offense had kind of, you know, moved towards ever since the, you know, since you know, late in fall camp, um, you know. And, and so, in, in a week, you, you kind of have to gear back towards the things that guys do well, but you don't want to stop growing at the things you've done. So, um, it's a challenge for all of us, but that's that's no excuse. That's a part of the game, and uh, you know, we just need to get, get it done. Luca, can you talk about coaches know coaches and what they go through? Can you talk about Coach Fritz? Uh, uh, here's a team that won two games last year. This year they're much improved. And uh, at a school where it's mostly academics and all that, and it's tough to get fans in the game. Just talk about that if you could. I don't know much about the school, to be honest with you. I don't know. I know he's done a good job. And uh, he's got a really good football team. Um, he's got a lot of guys that are older and seniors. And, and I think he's done it the right way. And uh, that showed. That's the difference between last year and this year. You know, we didn't get to see the quarterback last year because he was hurt. Um, but I knew he was a competitor. I knew he was tough. Um, 
when you see those guys across the board, when you see juniors and seniors across the board, there's a reason why maybe some didn't pick him as high as, as you know, maybe they are right now, obviously, with being picked seventh or something. But when you get the and you got a lot of, a lot of seniors and juniors, and especially the ones that are playing for you, you got a chance. What kind of look did you have on Will Pauling's catch and your decision to call timeout there? I don't know that I had a great look at it. I, I, I'll be honest with you, I thought it was out of bounds, not probably as bad as the officials. Um, but I'm always trying to think ahead. And then somebody upstairs said, I think this, I think he might have caught that thing. And uh, so it's always going to take a chance. And, uh, you know, it's kind of disappointing that they didn't review it themselves. But, uh, you know, they're, 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 you have some of those situations that uh, you need to do it. And, um, you know, good, good fortune there. I think we had another one that might have been kind of similar in that situation, too. But you know, that's you want them to see see some replays. You want some guys to help you out with that. But you also just like at the end of the game, you don't want to lose your timeout. So you gotta you gotta kind of make some some of those decisions really quick. And you know, if it wasn't for those guys hollering, I probably wouldn't have done it. What were they able to do to limit the havoc plays on defense? Only one sack, not a lot of tackles for loss. They they kept you on your toes. <coughs> yeah, I mean they they packed it in there pretty good. They did a good job match protecting and taking their shots. And that's where they, where they got us down the end. Um, you know, I think that they weren't going to let some penetrations. They weren't going to give up minus yards plays. They're, they're a very sound group. I mean, they play really well fundamentally defensively. They don't give up the big plays. And, you know, they've scored a lot of points when you look at it. But, uh, but really, they're, they're more of a grinded out team. They're, they're going to take the shots when they, when they can. And, and they're not going to make mistakes. They're not going to give up those negative yards plays. And, and uh, you know, that cost us a little bit because, you know, every time they, they did move the ball a bit. And so, you know, you get into those third down situations where you can't get after the quarterback because they're in four down territory and they're running the ball in third down. I thought they had a good plan. They weren't, uh, they weren't going to put themselves in, in those jeopardy sh to uh, the quarterback to take some shots and give up some negative yards plays. And then they were going to take their shots when they needed to, and they did. How much of that was Spears and his ability to just keep moving forward? I mean, he's good back. He, he, he's, he's good. And uh, we knew that going in. And, uh, you know, but we've had a little bit of a issue with some of those really good guys, especially the ones that can bounce and get the edge on us a little bit. Um, you know, that's another, another area where we've given up some big plays. You talked about kind of that unspoken goal of winning the championship. You're still technically alive on that, but how do you view a season that ends without you having a championship? I, I, I don't sit here and evaluate it right now. I mean, it's, it's too hard to do that. Everybody's hurting, um, you know. So we evaluated, you know, this game right now, and it's, it's disappointing, and it doesn't put you in a position, a situation where you want to be. But you know what? You got to react and respond, and uh, whatever's thrown our way, we'll have to deal with. And, uh, you know, more so than looking at the whole the whole season, we're looking at this moment right now. And uh, everybody in that room is disappointed, not just because we didn't win, but they're disappointed because of you know what they put into it, especially what those seniors have done. Any other questions for coach? Yeah, I got one. Yep. You're used to having your name thrown around. It's too hard to think about. You know, we've got to, uh, hopefully that there's some things that can happen. We still have a chance to play, um, so you don't know. And, uh, and it's tons of time to probably think about those kinds of things. We've got to get back up there and take care of those seniors in particular and make sure that, uh, you know, their heads are up and they're ready to, to roll whatever's thrown at our way here. It's, it's, it's the next week or two. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.